Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and guys today we're covering the news and I gotta say it's probably the biggest news in a long long time. So without further ado, let's jump over it and if they don't talk about it right here, we're gonna move on to the uh, YouTube video that basically uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exodus official channel released last night and uh, you guys will see that there's some big big changes coming to the global version of the game so uh we're gonna try to not making a super long video but uh let's just go into it and see exactly what we get so basically on thursday uh guys will be getting the steel castle Malfica, and uh this thing is gonna be uh basically for every single weapon so if you guys some uh if you have some weapons that you want to make stronger and stuff like that well it's gonna be your chance to do so then we're gonna move on to the next one floating continent the Ultima Weapon Battle will become available. So basically, this will start on Thursday after maintenance. So basically, on the 7th, you will be fighting this Ultima Weapon Final Fantasy VI. All right, let's see what Mog has to say. This enemy is killed in Fire, Wind, Earth, and Dark Magic attacks. So be sure to increase your Elemental Resistance and Spirit forehand beforehand, Kupo. It, uh, it can also inflict status ailments, so you'll want to bring equipment that nullifies those ailments. And have some items or abilities on and ready to cure them, Kupo. When its HP falls below a certain point, it will boost its own status. So prepare countermeasures such as Dispel or Finger Snap Kupo. And uh, here's the uh, rewards that we can get. So basically complete the quest, you get the Assassin's Dagger. Attack 102 and a chance of inflicting poison or paralysis on enemies. Uh, this could be good for the arena, especially if you have an AoE character. Use Greed Magic, you get 10,000 red coins. Defeat the Ultima Weapon Party uh, within 10 turns, you get two seven uh, rare 7 tickets. And Party of Five or Less, you get a 5% Moogle, which is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be available on Thursday after maintenance. Then we're going to keep going, running through Daybreak. So basically, I'm seeing this as the first time like you guys, so I'm not... I didn't check the news before, so this is all new for me. So yes, big, big, big news, guys. Uh, and also big spoilers, uh, running through daybreak so king rain is the next characters that next character that we're going to be getting here on the global version and the big news regarding all of that uh, we will talk about them after so basically uh there's going to be a nice story event so mr king rain is coming out so like always guys you're going to be able to get some crisps and stuff like that the split edge is going to be a limited uh equipment that you're going to be able to get it's a great sword attack 90 enables dual wield can equip two of any one hand weapon so that's really nice and uh, yeah, guys, King Rain is there. Still no uh, Terra coming out, but uh, King Rain is a one powerful unit, guys. So be on guard. That is story event is basically coming out. Uh, wait, is it Thursday? So yeah, on Thursday after maintenance, we're going to be able to do the story event. Then unit intro quest, Aldor King Rain. So if again, if you guys didn't play the story, I'm sorry. You guys got to play the story and uh, basically this is going to be the unit intro quest. Uh, you're going to be able to see his limit burst and I got to say this guy looks sick. Sick, sick, sick. And uh, you're going to be able to get some lapis, free lapis and stuff like that. So that's not that bad. And let's go over the featured summon. So we're going to go over what uh, Mr. King Rain has to offer. Uh, right here you can see that his big uh, chair is behind him throughout the fight. So that's going to be pretty funny. So let's go over the step up. Fies, uh, first step is going to be five. Uh, I thought it was 500. I was going to say, man, they're generous. So basically the first step is 5,000. You get a 9 plus 2. Second step, 9 plus 2 with 10 maxed out, maxed out Cactuar, which is pretty, pretty nice. Then on step 5, you get an 8 plus 2 plus 1, so guaranteed rainbow. On step 4, you get another 9 plus 2 with that crazy 90% blue ticket. And on step 5, you're guaranteed at least one King Aldor rain, which is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, also, I think, yeah, Aldor King Rain, special 9 plus 1 plus 1 summon, limited to 6 times per player. So basically, you're going to be doing 5,000 uh, Lapis, and you're going to be a guaranteed Rainbow. So it's a 9 plus 1 plus 1. And right here, Refined Pool, basically what they're doing is once you summon here, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's going to be all the old 5-star units are not going to be in uh, that summon pool. So basically, I think it's from like CG Barts and upwards or even before that a little bit. All the old units will not be there. So that's going to be pretty cool indeed. So let's see what Mr. Aldor King Rain has to offer. 
So a Super Trust Master is a physical damage dealer. He's in one crazy one, actually. Uh, a Super Trust Master, True Crimson Saber. Basically, it's a great sword. Attack 174, two-handed weapon, enables all door kings and mission. Boost equipment attack when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. So that's really, really nice. And if you guys are lucky enough and you get four copies of him, well, you're going to be able to make that sword even stronger in the Steel Castle Malfica. Then his Trust Master Ward. It's a great armor or heavy armor. King's Reign uh, armor. Attack 28, defense 45, enables all door King's Majesty. Boost HP by 10% and boost LP damage. So that's really, really nice. His featured abilities, Soul Blood. Uh, every four turns you can use that fill LB gauge to max reduce physical damage taken for one turn and boost LB damage next turn. Complete the Awakening Aldor King uh, every six turns. Reduce defense for all enemies and boost attack and resistance to reduction to attack and enables triple saber for four turns to cast her. So that's really really strong. And uh, Grand Shield Saber deal partial and mitigate damage to one enemy and damage to all enemies that powers up with consecutive use. So uh, basically I think this is like a uh, that's the chaining move so basically it's like heal where the first the first six hits or whatever the chain is it's gonna hit the boss and then bam the last hit hits everybody so that's pretty cool then uh the four star going to six star diesel diesel or whatever uh i gotta say the sprite looks really nice though really really nice sprite on that character uh trust master ward fierce great sword user boost attack by 50 percent when equipped with a large sword and boost attack by 20 percent when equipped with a heavy armor so that's right here 70 percent attack uh heavy armor so yeah basically get that trust master that's a really really good trust master indeed then the three star basically going into five star what's your name macy her trust master imagine a brooch defense and spirit plus three magic 20 percent. it's an accessory enables earth mage knowledge boost earth magic damage dealt by caster uh not good not good but this this is really good and the sprite is beautiful i gotta say this character should have been a five star this looks really good and uh yeah this guy i mean guys seriously uh it's a must pull this character is literally a must pull because the amount of damage that he can do uh it's pretty insane pretty pretty insane so let's move to the notices ability awakening updates so yeah mac medi ravis ignis my boy heo uh chital whatever but uh, Ignis and EO, guys, I gotta say, they become really, really good. So let's see EO fast, fast. Boost, uh, Awaken plus one, Spirit 20%. Basically, on uh, once you Awaken twice. Spirit plus 30%. Effect, remove, ability change to Bloodthirsty Swordsman. Basically, boost on physical damage against humans. And fill LB gauge to max and boost LB damage. What? That's pretty insane. Way of the Void. Awaken plus two, boost attack increase to 250%. Undispellable. Boost turns in effect to 5 turns. Boost enable duration of uh, enable ability triple blade for 4 turns. And uh, increase MP consume to 120. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's his, um, the move that you... His ability that you can cast every 5 turns or 6 turns. I'm not sure. I have to check on this. But uh, Mysterious Swordsman. Boost attack uh, by... Boost attack and spirit by 30%. That's really nice. Boost equipment attack when a single weapon is equipped. That's 50%. Awaken plus two, boost equipment attack, increase to 100%. That's crazy. Then Servant of the Blade, that's a good one. Boost damage amount on first attacks to 550% and boost damage amount on the second attack to 680. Wow, so these percentages are really, really good. I'm not going to go over all of them, guys. I just want to see exactly what we're doing with Heal. Then Awaken plus one, Flame Blade and Voltage Blades are probably pretty much the same. So uh, change to uh, deal fire damage. Boost damage amount to 650%. Boost fire resistance reduction. Wow, it's an 80% in peril. Boost turn in effect for 5 turns. Awaken plus 2. Boost damage amount to 950%. And adds fire element to own physical attack for 5 turns. That's insane. So basically he imperils by 80%. And he imbues his weapon for 5 turns. Uh, yes, indeed. That's pretty crazy. I'm not going to go over all of them. We're going to keep this for a different video if we need to. Then 5 times... 5-star rate up, uh, commem commemorative login bonus. So basically, uh, the 5 times rate up, commemorative login bonus. On day 1, day 2, we're going to be getting a bunch of Lapis, which is really, really nice. And uh, I think they're still not talking about it, so we might have to go over it. Then, 5-star rate up, again, the commemorative 
10 plus 1, 7. So this is going to be open for 3 weeks. We're going to get 1 every single week. Players can perform a free 10 plus 1 summon once per week that resets on maintenance day over a period of 3 weeks with 1 unit being a 4 star. Sorry, 4 star plus guaranteed unit. So basically on week 1, week 2 and week 3. Then 5 star select summon. So basically, yes, this is what they're saying. Uh, a special summon will be available. You're going to be able to trade 1 5 star select summon ticket for 2000 lapis and you're going to be able to do that 5 times max. After that, it's probably, um, they were saying in that video, it's going to become a uh, 1,500. So if you want to exchange your Select Summon ticket, it's going to be for 1,500. But this one is not that bad. So if you guys been keeping those 5-star Select Summon ticket, uh, here's a chance to get free Lapis a little bit faster. Then, they're not talking about the big news. So you guys know what? Let's just jump in here. I know I'm in front. So, hello. I'm Iroki, producer of FF3 Global version. So I'm not going to be watching the whole thing. We're just going to move forward a little bit where I want to talk about the stuff that they were saying. I think it's right here. So yeah, you guys can see right here. Uh, maybe if I go theater mode. Yeah, you guys will see a little bit better. So theater mode, this way we're going to be able to see. So you guys can see right here that uh, five star select summon ticket can only be exchanged for prism so you will not be able to exchange your five star select summon tickets for units but you're going to be able to exchange them for uh the prism of the unit so basically on the same day so let's say on thursday king aldor rain comes out you summon one copy of him if you have because now it's going to be eight select summon ticket as opposed to ten if you have those eight tickets you can exchange those eight tickets for his prism right away that's pretty cool i like that i actually don't mind that uh the only bad part is you're gonna be need you're gonna need the unit which is makes it a little bit hard sometimes to get the unit but at least you're not chasing two copies minimum you're actually just chasing one copy which is not that bad we're gonna have to try it for a couple of weeks uh just to see exactly how that works out but i'm not i'm not mad about that one that one's actually pretty good and you're gonna be able to exchange it on the same day which is not that bad so if you guys been keeping those tickets that's pretty good Pretty good right here. And we're going to keep going. I think the next one is right here. So yeah, you guys can see the summon rate is going to be increased from 3 to 5%. And the increased rate for the uh, the featured unit is going to be increased from 1 to 1 1.5%. And older units, you guys can see right here, older units will be removed from the summon pool. It will be easier for you to obtain these new units. So basically, like we were saying, uh, I think from a certain... They, they didn't say exactly from which character, but from a certain character on your way forward, you will not be able to get those old units. So guess what? Gilgamesh, no more. Uh, Transterra, no more. So basically, you're going to be able to get the new units onwards, which is really, really nice, uh, which is going to be pretty cool. And the thing that they said, basically in the Japanese version, a uh, character like King Rain. Uh, CG Titus, all these new CG units were locked behind a time-limited banner. So you can only pull them within those two weeks. And after they were gone, you cannot pull for them anymore. They changed it completely in the global side. So basically, once King Rain is done, his banner is done, he's still going to be in the summon pool. And all the other characters in the future, whenever they come out, they will always be in the summon pool, which is not for anything, pretty amazing. Because uh, you're not locked behind having to summon for these units right now. And you're stuck if you can't get them. So that's really, really cool. And that's one big thing that they brought to the game. So yes, I'm all good for it. And uh, guys, you know what? We're easy to bash Gumi and uh, Square Enix. Especially on that game and FFB. But when they do something good, feel free to go onto their channel and write good comments. Because at the same time... Uh, they're a company, they need to learn from their mistakes, and if we could just bashing them, well, guess what? Sometimes you have to tell the right stuff and tell them that they're doing a good job on something. So I'm really cool for that. Uh, good changes. For, so for me, you know what? I was kind of on the low side lately with FFB because it's pretty rep repetitive. I wish they would change some stuff, and that's a good change. So for me, that's a really good change, but there's still some things that they should change slowly but surely. But for now, first step in the right direction so gumi square enix i don't think you're going to be watching this video but if you're watching this video thumbs up because that's really really good 
because guys i still love ffb but right now like i've been saying it's been on the low side a little bit but this is a good change uh like what i was saying before they were saying in the game in the game uh the five star select seven tickets you're going to be able to exchange it for a lapis you're going to be able to do it five times total and we're going to be getting a login uh, login bonus of 5,000 lapis total, which is pretty good. Uh, do they have anything else to say? No, that's pretty much it. So, guys, this one right here, this one is the crazy one. So, for me, 3% uh, to 5% is a really, really big boost. And that 1 to 1.5% 1 is also a really, really big boost. And this one at the bottom, older units will be removed from the summon pool. That's really cool. So, they were saying, though... The, uh, the way you can get these older units, they're going to be in the summon pool of EX tickets and also, uh, I think, rare summon tickets. So if you just use your rare summon tickets on, let's go back here real fast. If you go here into summon and you go in this banner right here, well, basically, you can get every single unit that you want. I got 24 tickets, so basically, stay tuned, guys, because on Thursday, oh, there's a good chance your boy Toasty is going to be summoning for that King Reign. But for now, you know what? I got this from the slot of Chocobo. Let's do a 5 plus 1. Let me know, guys, down below in the comment section. How do you feel about these news? I feel good. I think it's good. It's a good step in the right direction. There's still something I would like to change. But uh, we're going to keep this for another time. So, guys, like always, let me know down below. What do you think about these changes? I think they're a good change. And uh, it's a step in the right direction. Like always, no rainbow. Leave a like down below, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.